Hawaii. Because the Cajun people, they have the ancestry, a lot, along with a lot of people of color too, they have ancestry uh, from Nova Scotia who were exiled by the English. So um, those people that are descendants of the Acadians, the Acadian French people who came to Louisiana in uh, 1755, um, they, after a while, the English people that came in, they called them Cajuns. Like, just like how in the Western movies and stuff saying Indians, they say Injuns. Well, Acadians is Cajun. So those people who are descendants of those Acadians are the Cajuns. Well, um, whenever, it was all Louisiana French music at one time. They played a lot of the same melodies. And when Louisiana was more Americanized and the music kind of started to get out of Louisiana more, um, they had to make a choice between whether they were playing white French music or black French music. So that's where you get the Cajun and the Creole and the Zodigo, all the different, um, you know, distinguishing of different styles. But it was almost the same thing until, you know, recently is where it went more different. But, um, so that was one of the first songs ever recorded. That was, uh, Mon Cano La Cause. I would say it was the first, but, um, what is, who recorded that from the affair first then? I don't know, that's Cajun, you know. I just know that they all play it and yeah. it's called Les Flammes Don't Well, I know there's a lot of them where there was a Creole version before. But most of them. But when it comes to like uh, Cajun music, I'm not really uh, familiar with the whole root of all of that because that's not my, you know, everyone, know, they know Cajun and everything. That's not my, you know, main focus. But Dennis McGee, I would say a lot of those songs that he did, you know, some of those, I'm more familiar with those Cajun tunes. But uh, for the most part, Creole is my thing, you know. Sure. So. Is there a technical difference between the two? Uh, yes, there is. Yeah, different feel? Um, it's a little different. Uh, Cajun, I find that whenever they play, they have longer bow strokes, kind of like an old-time musician. Okay. Um, more technique involved, whereas the Creoles, there's not many left that play even. But the Creoles have more of a three-finger style. They slide more into the notes in another direction. Um, but for the most part, there's... I say there, there's only about a twenty percent difference. You know, everything else is about the same. There's more staccato in the Creole style, for example. The song I just played, if I would do it more occasion, it'd be more like, like more like this. sound more like this. Which is the same thing as Creole, which is more, um, it's simpler than what, what Creole would have been, you know. It's still about the same. Uh, you know, there's not a really big difference between Zodigo and Creole other than modern day Zodigo was in English mixed with a little bit more R&B and rap. And then you have Cajun music, the modern day Cajun is mixed with a little bit more of like George Jones kind of country sound and stuff like that. So other than that, it's not a very big difference. When you're playing, do you mix them up? Or is your style similar? I can play both, you know, because I play with so many Cajun bands, I play with so many Zodico bands that I can play both styles, you know. There's no, because to me there's no big difference, it's all about the way you, it's like the accent, it's the accent, you know. Any more questions? Well, you grew up in, uh, I think you said, in southern Texas. That's right, southeast Texas. So how did you um, become interested in playing uh, Creole music? Very interesting question. Well, where I live in Louisiana now is considered the heart of Louisiana French culture. But in actuality, where I'm from in Texas, I could find more Zodico music there and dance classes and anything. 
dances or anything like that, things like this, like workshops, than I would ever find in Lafayette in a year's time. Wow. It's because whenever people couldn't find work in Louisiana in the old days, what did they do? They migrated. They went to places where they could find more work, just like Hispanic people or anybody else that kind of, and all of your ancestors that came to America. So with them, they were able to keep their culture. So that's where I come from. Is, uh, is there a Creole version of Jolie Blanc? You know, I don't really, to me, Creole is just the accent. When Creole people play something, or black people, because that's what it all like boils down to, the black and the white. When they play something, they're going to have a different accent from that of a white guy. When a white guy plays something, he's going to have a different accent from a black, depending on if you're that segregated in your life, which they were. You see? They had the same taste of music, but they were kind of segregated to the point to where, were very segregated to the point to where they developed little different accents. Where did you get your influence? Where you, was your... I mean, I played with different people. You know, I have a cousin named Bonton Mickey, he plays Zodico. I kind of got started playing with him, but I wasn't really like into that style of Zodico. Um, I was more into like the old French. You know, I would sit in with like Goldman Thibodeau, Edward Poulard, um, different people that I knew that kept up the uh, traditional style. But then I also played with like more modern bands that played Zodico. So everything just kind of came together. I didn't have any mentors, anyone to tell me like, I should go this direction or do this or that. When did you start playing? I was about 18, I'm 30 now. You know, so, and it just came together. It's something I wanted to do. Like I said, I didn't have anyone, like, I'm trying to represent this musician or that musician. I mean, I'm only just playing the music because I love it and explaining it and expressing it the way I can. Well, who was the first one you studied? Was Can, Can Ray Fontenot the first one you studied? I can't say study. Like, I, I didn't stick with well, one particular musician or style. I just loved everything I heard, and whatever I wanted to learn is what I learned. Okay. So that's my main point in the whole thing. Like, I don't have a, I don't have anything that I'm especially representing other than just Creole music. I noticed you, last night you were holding it, and I really liked the way you, you did that, the way you more able to open the, the your voice singing. Same. Like the, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, and you did, I mean, you really were stroking at the same thing. So what that is is just chords, right? So like if I play a melody and I sing over it, for example, like, um, I mean, switch the melody around and get off of this flop, no fan, kind of <laughs> all that cold stuff. How about like uh, something like this? Um, this song is called Your Parents Don't Want to See Me No More. So I'm going to play the melody, and whenever I sing, I'm going to... Normally the melody that you sing matches the melody of the chordion of the fiddle. It's like old time. So I'm going to play this, the melody that I'm going to sing in whole chords. Scales. 
So it's all, that's how Louisiana is founded pretty much, and that's where Creole is from. Whenever the French people came over, there were Native Americans there, and the French brought slaves. So the slaves and the Indians mixed a lot, the French and the Indians mixed a lot. They all three mixed with each other over generations. Spanish people came also, because Louisiana is a Catholic state. And the Spanish, uh, they were the ones who ran Louisiana, where you know, the government was French, uh, Spanish when the Acadians came. So uh, for generations and generations, the Germans brought um, accordions and things like that. So hey, that's where the music is from, you can hear it. So would y'all like to hear something fast or slow? I'm gonna put another tune in. <laughs> 